Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to this slightly new series, or you could say revamp series that we're doing with Muslim Kids TV. Uh, carrying on from our global educator series that we had running before. Uh, but this time we have some new global educators, new partners uh, that we're working with around the world. And first coming up on this series is with Reed Academy and Reed Meta School, which is based out in the UK, inshallah. And we've got here uh, the leaders of both of those branches. Uh, and inshallah, I'm going to get them to introduce themselves now, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please do introduce, introduce yourselves. Maybe we'll start off with head teacher and then we'll go over. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mr. Hussein, Ghulam Hussein. I'm the head teacher at Reed Academy and Reed Meta School, um, established now for 10 years and um, experiencing new uh, ventures with Brother Madassa, who can now also introduce himself, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Madassar ul Haq. I am the IT director and co founder of Reed Meta School. Alhamdulillah, partnering alongside uh, Mr. Hussein on our online venture, which is, mashallah, uh, our opportunity for education across the globe. Jazakallah khair for introducing yourselves. I'm going to head the first question over to Mr. Hussein as the head teacher. Can you just give us a little bit of the history behind how uh, Reed Academy began, how it started? Okay, so Reed Academy was an aspiration of mine from when before I was a teacher. So I I entered the world of education um, running a business, a tuition center. And from the tuition center, I had time during the day and education grew on me. And I saw that there were so many gaps in the education system. And I thought to myself that I want to try to see if I can improve this. And the tuition center offered some scope to do so. I then done my PGCE and then I become a qualified teacher running the tuition center alongside and um, and went to a state school and was horrified. My memories were somewhat a lot better than what I was seeing. I was horrified by what's going on in the schools and I wasn't happy at all. Uh, I might alongside with my brother, I had the aspiration to start up my own school and it wasn't going to be an Islamic school at that time. In fact, my my concentration towards Islam happened just a year before we started the Islamic school. And this is when I absolutely took a deep dive into um, practicing the religion a lot more than what I once was. And uh, I done my Hajj, so just straight after my Hajj. And funnily enough, I applied for leave for my Hajj and the school rejected it. So at the same time, I handed in my resignation and I said, right, Allah Hafiz, there you go. I'm going to do my pilgrimage and I shall see you guys soon. And then my intentions were to, to start up my own school um, on return. So it was going to be no, a, a school for everybody. But then my life changed and uh, Islam took priority over everything. And I'd done my Hajj at the right time such that as soon as we returned, everything just seemed to pave its way uh, its way forward and lo and behold um, reed academy 10 years ago um, launched and we had our first year of schooling with 17 children and about 17 teachers so um, it was a it was a very um, beautiful experience and then mashallah we've grown from strength to strength and i think we've maintained a very close knit family schooling environment where now mashallah we've got 300 plus children yet we still are able to have the same kind of a relationship with the parents as we once did many many years ago mashallah tawarakallah. that's uh, that's an amazing story uh just over to modassa now i wanted to ask you how did now read meta school birth from there so i think the uh, the, the meta school journey alhamdulillah has been quite an exciting journey from my perspective and i think meeting brother abbas has also been a blessing as part of that so my children uh, mashallah who, are, who 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 actually were going to secondary school for the for the eldest was looking for a school and for me it was very important to find a destination which was islamically orientated so alhamdulillah i was given brother abbas's um contact details through a family friend and he, he suggested I look at Reed Academy. So Alhamdulillah when I approached 
Reed Academy and and my brother Abbas, mashallah, he was open arms in offering a place for my child who who actually has a skin condition actually. So for me, it was very important to find a place, a safe haven, Islamically orientated for him. And and as we got talking, um, brother Ross caught on to the fact that I knew IT and technology, and and Alhamdulillah, that was a a, a real great spark in, in in terms of creating a conversation around supporting read academy and giving uh, an opportunity for me to voluntarily offer my technical support and skills to the school whereby we looked at various aspects of access on on devices secure securing devices so that when children are browsing websites they're secured when children are browsing and using Google, they're not typing in the inappropriate, and you know they're not typing in inappropriate words. And if they are, the safeguarding teams are alerted. So Alhamdulillah, I, 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 I did this project for Read Academy alongside Brother Abbas, and we we collectively were involved in multiple meetings and and discussions with many partners. And Alhamdulillah, that journey commenced very nicely, and, and it opened up a lot of communication and communication and channels and also started developing this this great friendship between us and eventually i think about three months later brother abbas who's always had a vision to open up an online school uh suggested this to me and i very much um open arm and hands i i, I went in and said yes this is this is a, an opportunity for us to really venture out uh, muslim education not just locally, which Brother Boss has been doing successfully for the last 10 years, but open open this to a wider community globally. And Alhamdulillah, this is something that we were very excited to do collectively and and and, and that, that journey basically begun, Alhamdulillah. Mm. Amazing. Uh, so, Brother Boss, uh, Madrasa said that you had this vision for quite a while to open up a global online school. Uh, where did that vision come from? Why do you think it's important to have that branch off of your physical school? I think um, with the physical school, we saw the demand. Now, Redbridge area has many, many opportunities for Muslims to have a private education, even state-funded Islamic education um, to serve the community. And even here, my fellow, we're at full capacity. Being at full capacity uh, and coming on to our 10th year anniversary, there's an old myth tale that says after 10 years in your business, you need to do something new. You need to revamp it or you need to add something very different to it in order for it to survive. So the 10 year anniversary comes, we're fully subscribed. And we've seen that the demand in an area which already has the supply of education is still so fierce, we just fathomed what it would be like across the country. So we, um, we, we indulged in a few research programs and we saw that, that, you know, that there is a massive demand and, and there are areas and children who actually don't have the opportunity to even have Muslim friends in schools. So they're absolutely outcast in schools and even on the back of five or six of them children it was just a, a, a no-brainer as to make sure that we can at least serve those children who want to be served in and around the country and ever since then i think the education system has taken a massive u-turn um in, in changes and i think a lot of people are not quite happy with it it's not up to date with the technologies what's going on in the state schools is, is not is not fulfilling you know the promises to the children and i think from there the demand for a decent education a safe education a protected education has also risen so so we're not just serving those people who who need to be serviced but now there's actually a growing demand uh, across the country for a safer education and that's something that, that that we're going to provide and also it was not just on the back of that it was on the back of making sure that we bring something different to education and the only viable option was technology and the advancements that technology has made uh, in this time and even with the children and even with you know the networking social media even socializing the advancements has made was the only option to add something new to Read Academy and uh, to, to read the benefits that that can bring also to Read Academy. And mashallah, we are currently facing such 
um, such positive aspects and positive changes, mashallah. Mashallah, tawarakallah. That's, that's amazing. Uh, and I guess this is a question for either of you to answer. But what do you then think is the future of Islamic education? Right. I mean, Madhassar and, and I, we're so, the partnership is so fantastic, such that Madhassar is heavily focused on IT. His background has been IT. He he leads conferences. He talks about new technologies. So we we're, we're able to have him on board. And the vision is that he is able to make sure that the online education utilizes the latest technologies. And I am able to make sure that education is provided, not, not necessarily exactly like the national curriculum, because for, for one, I think that's, that's, that's dated. I mean, the national curriculum we're using now can go back many, many years. School classrooms right. haven't changed. The classroom setting is the same. What's changed in a school? Nothing's changed in a school. Even the curriculum is the same. Yet the world around us has changed a great deal. Uh, and 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 Muslims, I, I'm fight, we're fighting together hard such that Muslims are not on the last leg. We want to be on the leading leg or at least on the front leg in this in this change to to new technologies in education. Examination boards are also uh, moving examinations online. So there seems to be a potential shift in, in, in the use of technology and it may become or it looks to become more more used as a as a solution to education and it's important that the ummah uh, have a service that is is leading in it inshallah so that's that's what we hope that read meta school brings to muslim education so it stays above and beyond uh, of the game and it's not just following suit as sheep in fact we're leaders in in changing curriculums and using technologies and we want to remain that way such that we've even designed our business model um to ensure that everything that we do is is following the kaizen approach of continuous improvement and we are continually continually improving and reinvesting and, and re-looking at the whole structure so that it continually improves as 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 time goes on and and wallahi by the blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the improvements we've seen over over the lifespan has 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 been amazing it's been tremendous we, we've seen new technologies we've, we, we've had new partnerships we've been ahead of the game we've literally been leading um, online schooling in conversations that we've had in the education sector that's amazing uh Modassar, given that what uh, uh brother Bas has just said uh, about all of that of staying ahead of the game uh there may be other educators that are viewing this listening to this they may be wondering how do we do that like what are the particular trends that muslim educators should be staying on top of to ensure that across the board you know whatever institute you're in you're giving the best to um to muslim children and to to kind of islamic education absolutely uh, i guess from my perspective being heavily involved in technology over the last 20 years it's really allowed me to value technology and our day-to-day -day activities and what we do now the reality is technology is here to stay it's growing and it's becoming such an important aspect of our day-to-day -day lives that we need to embrace it so having our children to understand and use technology in the day-to-day -day activities would not only allow us as a school and educators to give them the tools that they need to be the best in what they do in the current education but we're actually preparing them for the future as well so it's, it's in our best interest to expose them to such technologies and and get them to use the devices that and, and 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 different applications that we offer through our school in a way that allows them to be prepared shall we say now how do we do that i think it's important that we are constantly networking and and, and engaging with partners and, and, it, and it comes down to partnerships what i find valuable is having those partnerships with key technology vendors in our space and meeting them regularly is imperative because the more you do that and the more you keep on top of the trends and changes the better you can apply that within your organizations so for us it's very important that being an online school we are constantly focused around providing tools that are digitally available to our students they can use freely 
wherever they are. Now, when we talk about locations, we're talking about students, not just in the UK, we're talking about students from the Gulf regions and beyond, Alhamdulillah. And for us, we need to make sure that these tools are accessible from, from different regions, number one. Um, and I think having the tool sets that can also future proof what they expect to use. So, so the, the current buzzword, as we all know, is AI, right? So, you know, we are actively working with our partners that we've worked very closely through this whole journey to understand how AI can be used in schools. We don't want to use AI in the context that allows students to go and freely use it for their essays and their documents because we have tools to proof check whether it has been plagiarized as well. And we use yeah. those actively. But the point being is that it's in our interest to understand what's forthcoming and we 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 assess it and then see where it's applicable in our schooling curriculum and our online um, uh, uh, offering. So I think in summary, it's extremely important that you build a network, you build partnerships with vendors, you meet regularly, and you, you, you discuss their roadmaps and how those roadmaps can align with your with your with your vision and your strategy as well. Inshallah. I think also just going to add in there. I think that. I mean, this conversation is heavily focused on education, but the education lifespan of a child is not just academics, it's actually their character development and it's their social life as well. So we need to really understand all of the aspects of a child growing and the development of their character so that we can guide them and, and, and direct them or mold them in such a way that they become citizens, Muslims, that are able to practice their religion, that are able to live in accordance to the Qur'an and, and, and please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of their actions, but yet be successful and be very current in the world of work. And, and, and careers is something that we look into heavily um, as a school, both at Reed Academy and Reed Metal School. And we need to prepare our children uh, to, to be able to be doing that. I mean, for, for example, yourself, brother, you're, 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 you're at home now, or you're, you're in your studio or wherever you are right now, you're not in an office-based work. And office-based jobs are, are not as, as common as they once were. Everybody wants at least a hybrid model or they want to have somewhere where they've got flexibility. And flexibility is key. Not only does it mean you're, you're able to work from a comfortable place, but you're also able to work internationally and globally from any space. So you don't need to physically need to be in the same place. And these two things, I think, are beautiful and we've seen a massive change or we've seen benefits from both of these. The first being is the children at home and understanding technologies and they are actually seeing that they are adapting and they're preparing themselves for the world of work, which really may be online and may be in a, in, in, in a studio or, or in a, an office at home or wherever it may be. So we are actually preparing them for that side of the world and then the global side of the world we've seen classes and i think the biggest advantage that the online school has got is that there are children from across the country and mm -hmm. over the world sorry internationally in the same classroom so we deliver a british education but we deliver it internationally and to see children have a discussion which is not localized to a locality but rather have a discussion with an which is an international discussion that changes the whole the whole playing field. So in Redbridge, when we talk of enterprise, we'll, we'll tend to talk of the local businesses. We'll tend to talk about UK, Westfield. You know, these, these are the things that the children see and are exposed to. But when we speak about enterprise on Reed Metal School, all of a sudden, they're talking about international companies, international identities, and they're able to have a much, much wider mindset than that of a, lo a, a local mindset. And I think that value added for that is priceless. I mean, normally we can only culture our children by exposing them to our culture, maybe going on holidays and experiencing different cultures. But here you're experiencing different cultures, but one religion. So it also makes the Ummah a lot smaller. So where I would see a Turkish Muslim as a Turkish Muslim, I, I, won't, I might not interact with him. And when I see him, there might be an identity difference. But the children in the online school, because they've been exposed to children from, from Kenya, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, UAE, all of a sudden, they're all the same. They're all Muslims. So it really, really demolishes um, any issues with, 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 with borders or any issues with race and anything. And it makes the Ummah 
also come closer together. And it's really these things that we see are just so beautiful. And, and, and these are the things which make us want to reinvest in into it and, and, and expose it more, get, get more exposure from it, inshallah, to serve more of the world. I mean, inshallah. <laughs> I mean, inshallah. That's amazing. It's amazing to see kind of the vision and and it's not just a vision now, it's it's becoming actualized, you know, the fact that you have students coming on board with the online school and all this technology is being used and students are benefiting from it. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, bless it and uh, allow it mm. to go further. Mm. Uh, speaking on Kind of you mentioned you know it's important to have uh partnerships with various vendors and with other uh, various people that are organizations that are looking to help educate muslims using technology um that's where muslim kids tv alhamdulillah come in and where this partnership has sort of come in um so alhamdulillah we've managed to muslim kids tv have managed to work with uh, reed academy and reed meta school uh over the past few months uh, on various different uh, uh, angles. Um, so one of those angles is that we, alhamdulillah, collaborated on a Ramadan magazine that went out to about 2,000 plus uh, students across the UK. Um, and that was, of course, students within Reed Academy, but also madrasas and other schools. Um, uh, we, we were able to reach them through, through that. Uh, and also we've had a Reed Academy trial uh, the Muslim Kids TV education accounts. So to kind of explain that to some of the viewers, these education accounts, uh, it's essentially taking the Muslim Kids TV app, but putting it within the setting of a school that is ready to use technology and ready to use uh, uh, the latest sort of online trends and then use that to actually teach their children. And so this education account essentially gives the teachers access to a huge resource bank of videos, ebooks games lesson plans um that then make it easier for the for the teachers to actually find the relevant resources they need whether it's videos whether it's games whether it's books printouts um so that they can go ahead and use these resources to teach whether they're whether they're in, in an online school or in a physical school uh, and beyond that, it allows them then to connect with the student through the use of technology. The student has their own account and the teacher has their own account. And what this then means is the teacher can actually assign tasks uh, for the student to do either within the classroom or at home once they log in from their device. Um, and so in this way, we're actually trying to bring the learning environment that they have in school also at home and do it through an app that gives the children not just access to educational resources but also entertainment uh, because like you said technology is here to stay and part of that uses technology is mashallah reed is trying to use it in the best way possible but also there are some uh negatives to technology where it can be used for negative means i.e we can stick our children in front of certain apps and they're going to be consuming certain types of content that is not going to be beneficial for them and could actually harm their iman and their spirituality uh, and so what muslim kids tv is trying to do is to come in at that same level where it's using media technology in a way that can actually uplift our children uh, and increase their iman and give them good forms of entertainment and or also give them education he left a beautiful message of peace and of justice and love and it would be best if we all would follow his words in our lives a message for many let's practice what we We'll see what's right now and for all time. Hey, hurt no one and return the things no interest should be taken. And beware always of Satan, he can lead you to temptation. Treat all women as partners, pray and fast to keep off evil. No matter what race, you're all evil. Pass these words to other people And one day all will answer for the thing um, So that's a little bit of a background on Muslim Kids TV and, uh, and 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 why we're sort of partnering with Read Meta School. I'm sure people can sort of put the two together. Read Meta School and Read Academy are here to best use the technology that is going to serve the Muslim Ummah in the future. Muslim Kids TV is trying to do the same thing and the collaboration just makes sense and the partnership just makes sense from there. Yeah, um, I'm, so, I'm, sorry, but I'm so glad that yes. you've actually said that because 
I think one of the most um, amazing meetings that Brother Madassar arranged was with the founders of Muslim Kids TV. Now that conversation that we had still resonates with me until today, and I think it will stay with me forever. And it was such that they, and, and, and again, you've identified it. So there is whole media, the whole, you know, the use of entertainment, it's not safe. The use of education, it's not using resources that are Islamic resources, and they're so difficult to find. And we were speaking to the founders and, and, and they were like, look, we want to create a whole channel, a whole TV station, a whole safe space for children to, to be entertained and educated. And, um, and, and they, they, I'm not going to compare the names that they use, but they, they compared themselves to big names. And that's the thing that really resonated with me. And I, and I had full faith that this is where they're going to get to and provide you know resources and programs and entertainment for children cartoons and magazines and and uh like you said educational resources which will be inshallah enough for parents to say to the children right is muslim kids tv go and enjoy yourself and 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 feel safe that they're not going to pick up anything that's going to negate or go against their religion and in fact if anything it'll build their iman to the extent that before we even had this meeting with read um sorry with, with muslim tv we we sense the same thing there's not enough even on social media and for the teenage years they used to listen to a lot of podcasts or they watch videos and these TikTok things and 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 things and we tried to to create our own um channel and we tried to create our own um, videos and our own entertainment pieces so that the children can watch them but we found out very quickly that that's not just a full-time job that's a massive operation in itself so we managed to, to 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 create a small bit of content about an hour two hours worth of content which we did on the intentions that we wanted our children to have a safe space to to learn and watch and 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 we didn't need to worry about exposure to anything else and then when we had the meeting with you guys it was like mashallah they've been working on this for many years and they've got a team which is which sounded fantastic and it was like you said it was a no-brainer for us to work together and i think as 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 this will progress you you will speak about how we find the curriculum and and and, and how easy it is for the teachers to use it and how we feel it's it's an answer to many 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 problems in fact that I believe, or we believe as educators, the children are facing, or parents are even facing, bringing the children up. Not just educating them, but bringing them up um, into the adult world. Jazakallah khair. I really appreciate your kind words uh, for Muslim Kids TV and, and what we've been doing. Um, Mudas, I guess a question for you. Why did you think it was so important to make sure that uh, the school was partner, partnering with Muslim Kids TV? Yeah, I... I... I think as part of my vision uh, for our online school, um, partnering, as mentioned earlier, is fundamental in terms of growth, uh, alignment, and, and also reaching the right audience. And Muslim Kids TV, Alhamdulillah, based on our initial reviews and, and uh, you know, our own internal uh, assessments, shall we call, 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 call that, um, very much aligned with our vision. And that vision being to reach a wide global community offering a safe hub for education and also accessibility to resources and those resources being made you know being you know programs tv programs games and most importantly alignment with us from an education perspective and our vision at the time has always been at the outset and, and that journey when it commenced was we want to be a global reach we want to really focus on providing read meta school not just locally it's not a local school anymore which read academy has been mashallah for the last 10 plus years this is a vision that we want to really push outside and outside of the boundaries and alhamdulillah muslim kids tv um had the same vision so so having a partner that follows the same vision and alignment is is fundamental to reaching the right audience and alhamdulillah that's that's where when we found muslim kids tv and we had that first meeting which i also can resonate many many conversations and you know some of the points that were raised by the owners of the muslim kids tv are, are still with us and alhamdulillah you know we 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 want to follow the sh shared values inshallah and 
and and support yourselves as well in in that in that in that reach as well definitely i think that's very important for us to work together because we're all working towards the same aim which is to ensure that muslim children get the best uh, forms of education uh, using sort of the latest uh, and safest platforms um, in terms of the resources that the the team have already trialed and, and sort of had a look at um, what would you say uh, how, how would you say you know how useful are those resources uh, on the Muslim Kids TV app for for Muslim educators I, I will take it I'll take this one so I would say we've worked for around seven years changing and editing our curriculum this is before we come to see your curriculum and it was and, and it is a mammoth task you know from from the islamic education to the quran recitation to the correcting and the feedback of the quran in the classrooms to the resources that go with the curriculum design it's a mammoth task and i'm sure any educators will be able to appreciate that it is a mammoth task and it is really very difficult to get it all correct so so traditionally we're speaking arabic language um quran and islamic studies and your curriculum uh, and again we were we were blessed enough to speak to yourself and the founders of it and the way that you've spent time and effort creating your curriculum and then also editing or or, or, or creating even new material to coincide and go along with that curriculum has been an absolute fix. Now, the only thing that we're finding difficult now is saying seven years of hard work and these guys have just been able to, you know, put this on the table. How do we shift this and, and, and how much of a... So we're trying to make it be a slow process and it really does look as though the Muslim Kid TV curriculum and education arm is sufficient for for a school but not even sufficient is, is is very viable for an educational institution to follow because of the resources because of the thought process that's gone behind the design of the curriculum and even the ethos of the aims of the curriculum have been shared with the users as well which is a fantastic way to see how education can and should be delivered to children and then you've got like i said the the, the technology tools which again we didn't have we don't have and now you guys have provided to us and, and i gave the example of the quran recitation and the children being able to 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 track um record send edit get feedback on and keep a whole record of it in one safe space it is fantastic and it really um we're, we're, it's such an easy fix for the online school as in it's plug and play the only like i said to you the only problem is um with the physical school is 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 trying to say bye to the seven years of hard work and say right we're going to take this on so we're trying to do it in a way which complement and i don't want to upset the people that will be creating our content so it complements everybody but i do see um the design and i do see it being rolled out as an absolute solution most definitely for the online school and and inshallah i think within the space of an academic year for the physical school as well if all goes to plan inshallah yeah that makes sense definitely these kind of things have to be uh implemented in the best way possible for each and every institution and not every institution will implement it in the same way some will use a hybrid model some will use it completely on its own uh, some will just use it whenever they need to uh, mm -hmm. and so i think that's important that uh, and and we show that in fact that the muslim kids tv platform has that flexibility that it's not just a one size fits all uh, any institution can implement it in the way that they see uh, fits best for them um for any of you maybe you can uh, uh, tell me i think i think i know what brother abbas's favorite feature of the app is because he's mentioned about three times now <laughs> which is the quran recitation so maybe modasser is there anything in particular that you feel like whether it's from an education angle or even a parenting angle or a kid's angle that you feel like stands out the most for you you know i i look at the, the app in a way that I want to take a different angle not the education i, I mean I, I i think it's important when you're when your children are working online and they are you know sitting there in front of the screen um through for an online school it's important that you have breakouts as well and the fact that you know you you have an app that you can allow your children that when they want that breakout time they can go and watch on tv for instance right um and you know you don't want them to be watching uh, 
TV uh, material that perhaps is not in line with your our values, inshallah. You know, and then I think that's where you guys have got a fantastic selection, a vast array of resources that children can actually go away and 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 use uh, away from 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 the school. Yes. And, and I think that that for me is the biggest plus point. We've had parents actually requesting Muslim Kids TV through Read Meta. And, and actually having seen the magazines that you know that you guys have produced mashallah which is very detailed that same level of detail has gone into the online app uh, which can allow the students to um freely in a, and safely you know use um outside of uh, uh, school school hours and that for me is 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 a blessing and and there are games on there as well right who doesn't like to play a game or two mm -hmm. right and the fact that you have this in the app as well is fantastic so so not only can you use it on your i guess your 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 laptops you know you've got the ipad app so you've got the screen uh, the tv apps as well so it, it gives that flexibility for, for for our students and and i think um extends the use uh, of this not not just yeah. within the UK, but globally alhamdulillah well i also agree with Madassar there i have to say that i was speaking on the educational one as in as a solution to problems as an educator there are plenty but i i could go on for hours uh, in regards to the solutions to problems as the character development of our children and 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 providing a safe space for our children i could go on forever for that for example you've got the new cartoon which is the explorer cartoon um, i mean this is a full pledge full as in it, it is super high quality cartoon that children and even adults can sit down and really watch and and enjoy it and what you're actually doing these kids are are exploring islam and they're using islamic um, terminology and they and they're doing things which are which are are, are, are the correct way of, of living and how can muslims how can the ummah not support or watch such things that are readily made available to them and i think this is where when we go and when we're able to speak to to to, to people and we're able to speak to people in, in, in large volumes, it's really important that the Ummah, us, us leaders or parents or whatever we are, that we utilize the resources that are made available because a lot of time and effort have been put into creating them. And even in comparison, forget that they, they're not even, they come up of a superior quality in comparison to what the children are watching yet we're still not pushing them to our children enough we are and we're doing a good job of it but it's nowhere near enough saying that it's like now when we push our children and i say to them look, look it's like you've the whole platform when you can scroll through it's like netflix it's like yeah. you can go into this and you can watch as much as you like and i know you're going to come back a better person yeah yeah if you send your child to a room and you can't say to them, go and do as you please, because they will definitely come back exposed to something that you didn't want them to be exposed to. So it's imperative that as an ummah, just like people are are, are supporting um, comp new companies or, or companies that are run by Muslims to support, you know, the, the ongoing um, strength or the mission that they're trying to, to achieve. It's important that we also do the same as, a, as an ummah and as an educate as educators, as leaders. Because these things, like I said, I've tried, we made two hours worth of content and it took forever. And and we got maybe a handful of views, but even that was enough for us. That gave us peace that, you know, people have done this and they've watched this and they've been entertained by it. We even done a nasheed in a studio using um, just a duff drum and, and, it, and it hit a decent amount of views. And for us, that was such a relief. And, and we felt as though, you know, we've reached some, some homes. And, and it's important that parents, tell their children this is what you need to use this is what we need to watch and this is what you do otherwise things can go to waste and 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 it's not and it's not good we we really need to as parents especially as parents we need to make sure we protect our children like you said technology can be a very very dangerous place social media socializing i've spoken to a lot of schools and, and a lot of leaders and there's so many leaders and, and schools. We're, 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 come, we're, we're, we're getting to an age now. We're getting old. Okay. We need to really be in tune with what the children, with, with, with the problems the children are facing and with the exposure that they're getting. And I think we need to control and provide solutions to the exposure that they're getting. 
such that their exposure is is not as damaging as what it could be and even if it is damaging what do we do to fix the to the, the hurt or the, or the or the damage that has been caused very, so, very, um, <clears throat> no it's very important very very powerful words i think uh, especially coming from from yourself as a head teacher uh these things are crucial for parents and educators to to be concerned about when it comes to our children jazakallah khair for that so just wrapping up now um what can we expect from this partnership moving forward what can people expect to see inshallah over the next uh, few months between reed and muslim kids tv so i think what's expected is very much a great collaboration where muslim kids tv will be available to many of our parents uh, online and physical we're, we're looking to really offer uh this this solution and and really ask our parents to really maximize the use of this within their day-to-day -day activities and inshallah we are very excited to also continue some of the great work that we've already started and and and, and spreading the word uh collectively so so when we have events and and upcoming uh road shows we'll be excited to also have muslim kids tv in 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 the form of magazines and who knows with us at these events so you know watch your space you know so for those followers of read meta school at these events and and we we do tour the uk quite a bit alhamdulillah we've done quite quite a few many many uh live events uh with a head teacher on the stage we'll be excited to also see muslim kids tv alongside us and and yeah please do come and visit us inshallah so so from my perspective it's very much to continue that uh development with with muslim kids tv and also have many more educational uh live webinar and events and uh, where when uh, uh, parents of read meta read academy and non-parents of our schools can join us where we can educationally teach our uh, families the muslim ummah on different topics so I'm very excited to be part of that as well. And I'm sure Mr. Abbas will be very yeah. much excited to be participating in those, inshallah, as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my vision, inshallah, for, for the partnership or, or the potential that the partnership can have. So you've got Reed Meta School providing a British education in the safety and comfort of your homes. You've got the curriculum which has been delivered or designed by a company which has invested a lot, which is Muslim Kid TV, into the development of this and the use of the technologies that it is using, which coincide with the online school. And then you've got the entertainment aspect of the children's up being. So what can potentially happen here is a whole solution to your children's upbringing educationally and socially the only thing that's left out here is um is their physical bits and mobs and 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 and, and they're and they're traveling so what we've got here is a one-stop shop a potential and you can delete all of the other access to the internet you can delete absolutely everything all of the challenges that we're facing can be rid of and your your provider only needs to have read meta school and Muslim Kids TV, and you've got your entertainment sorted, and you've got your education sorted. That is what the Ummah needs, because we are then blocking out, obviously, all of the penetration that's coming from, from all sources of, um, of, of, of exposures to our children, and there needs to be a very, very strong barrier of protection for it. So that's where it can be, and, and I would love to see um, that as a solution to, to, to many of people's problems in life. Amazing. That's beautiful. That's exactly what I see as well. Coming in together and ensuring that uh, Muslim families across the globe have uh, this kind of one stop shop where they can get their entertainment from from our app and the education uh, from your school, inshallah. And I know that there's the whole parenting, many, many uh, members of the parenting community of Muslim Kids TV are looking for these kind of education solutions mm. and online solutions because they're types of families that are ready to use technology and they want to use it because they're already using it uh, by yeah. having our app and they, uh, they they want to transfer that from entertainment over to education as well inshallah um, so inshallah we're going to see a lot more of that um, so I guess the last question is for everyone who's listening who maybe is an educator maybe is a parent where can they get in touch with you and where can they find you sure so um you can reach us on on all social platforms alhamdulillah instagram TikTok, youtube 
you can watch many of our videos, uh, educational videos that we've created alongside. But most importantly, reach out to us on readmetaschool.com, where we have much information on our website, that our curriculums, the various uh, stages of uh, uh, education that we offer for, for the various age groups um, from age six to up to 16, inshallah. And if you're interested in a free trial with Read Meta School, we also offer this to any parent that wants to test the online platform with our live teachers based on the curriculum and the year groups that they're interested in. So we are very much open arms welcoming all parents across the world, inshallah, to join us on a free trial, which will very much give you an opportunity to understand the online schooling and inshallah allow you to make a great decision. And this solution also is very valuable for those homeschooling parents as well that want to break the tradition of uh, overseeing their education for the children on a day-to-day -day basis, whereby uh, a school like us, as we met a school, we have a structured timetable that can facilitate and support your child's journey with us, inshallah, uh, from, as I said, the age of six up to the age of 16, inshallah. So please do reach out to us on readmetaschool.com. And if you have any questions, we're more than happy to support you through your educational journey. Jazakallah khair. Really, really appreciate that. So, guys, that was our interview with Reed Meta School, Reed Academy, a uh, physical school here in, in the UK, and then the online branch that is global. And this is part of our series of global educators where we bring educators onto this platform. They get We get to understand what their vision is, and we also get to discuss how Muslim Kids TV can be part of that vision. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.